Germany. My name's Andy Dorsey, and yours is probably not. So I'm from the Chicago suburbs in the American Midwest, but moved to Berlin, Germany in 2016, where I'm now working my way through American branded products for sale here so that you don't have to. Today we'll be taking a look at spicy barbecue noodles, or possibly barbecue spicy noodles. It's a little bit ambiguous because the spicy is so far over off to the side here, it could go either way. In any event, this is sold by Penny under their store brand, Mike Mitchells. This, I would say, is actually a fairly convincing pseudo-American brand name. I mean, I, for one, had to look up. Is there actually somebody named Mike Mitchell who sells this stuff? But unless the director of Shrek 4 suddenly decided to move to Germany and start an empire of subpar processed foods, um, no, I think they just made it up. Still, though, much more convincing than Mick Ennedy, for instance. So, Mike Mitchell, that's actually a pretty good branding, and I mean, it's fairly attractive as well. It's got the nice stars and stripes, and the banner seems actually fairly American. Now, that's um, perhaps unlike the product itself, so this is uh, obviously kind of instant noodles, which were invented in Japan in 1958, but uh, when the Japanese then decided to move into the American market in the early 1970s, they introduced the cup, which you see here. I suppose before that it was more ramen-style packs, but they realized American consumers need this extra convenience of having a cup in which you can not only sell the food, but also cook it and then eat it. So that was introduced in the early 1970s as cup o noodles. This form, at least, is in a sense uniquely American. It was made by the Japanese for the American market. And in fact, according to the World Instant Noodles Association, where I'm sure you also get a fair amount of your news, the United States is the world's largest consumer of instant noodles. If you are willing to exclude such small, sparsely populated countries as China, Indonesia, India, Japan, and Vietnam. Okay, so the United States is only at position number six. We only account for about 4% of global consumption of instant noodles. But we are still the number one consumers outside of Asia. I guess that counts for something. And in my experience, instant noodles are, in fact, um, a staple, I suppose you could say, of the American diet. So it has a reputation more of being eaten by college students or people without especially much time or money to spend on food. But it is, in fact, something that we eat. What we don't eat, though, is spicy barbecue noodles. I mean, you could if you wanted to, but I don't think you're going to find them in a prepackaged form like this. At most, you could find possibly spicy barbecue noodles, but they would be ramen noodles. They wouldn't be macaroni. This is kind of a strange choice, I think. And again, maybe you could find barbecue macaroni and cheese, although the only producer I could find is this Pakistani company. Uh, but this is not barbecue macaroni and cheese, either. There is less cheese in here than maltodextrin. So there's also a trace amounts of speck, that sort of bacon-like substance. So I don't know exactly what this is or what it's supposed to be, and I guess we won't find out until we pour in some hot water and wait five minutes. first thing I noticed when I opened it up is that there's just a piece of corn uh, sitting there on top. That's not a good sign. And now I've cooked it up and yeah, there's actually quite a few pieces of corn in here. I've decided, although it looks like, well let's be charitable and say that it looks like soup, although it looks like soup, I've decided that I'm going to try to eat it with a fork because that's what they show on the packaging. Uh, Let's give it a try here. They are indeed, by the way, macaronis. And um, yeah, they sort of take on this unpleasant purple color. 
maybe it doesn't come across so well, but from here you can see it. It's a bit unsettling. They are nice and soft. It is a bit spicy. I guess it's kind of barbecue flavor. Again, I'm still not sure what the corn is doing in here. I think I should have maybe stirred it a little better, or maybe that's just how it's made. Who knows? Again, I can't say I've ever eaten anything like this before. I don't think I'm going to start. Is there a German equivalent? Well, Germany is the only European country specifically mentioned on the website of the World Instant Noodles Association, so that's pretty good testimony to the fact that instant noodles are eaten a fair amount here. And indeed, German grocery stores often will have a pretty big instant noodles section. But I'm afraid I don't really know what to tell you. Um, I don't really eat instant noodles all that often, so I'm not sure what a particularly German variety of them would be. If I am in a hurry and need something cheap and fast, I would go to the bakery section of the grocery store and get something like this, um, cheese pretzel stick for instance, or just a bun or a regular pretzel. Every German grocery store has a bakery section, the stuff is usually baked on the same day, so it's much fresher uh, than these um, barbecue spicy noodles, and uh, better quality, and possibly also still warm. So that would be the route that I would take. I don't know if any Germans watch this channel, and if you have any varieties of instant noodles that you particularly love and would like other people to try, you can share that down in the comments below. If not, now perhaps you know a little bit more about American food in Germany.